Hello. Hello. We can see you. Yes, very well. Can you can you hear us? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We hear Atta you na. very well. We see you. Cut. We are here in Vibe. Very good. So I'm showing you my and full face now. Yeah, Academy. Na. And uh, my name is Adam Witkowski, I am from Warsaw and the coaches and the experts uh, are Dr. Józef Jodkowski as well from w Warsaw, Poland, Dr. Ramesh de Silva from UK and Dr. Uh, Pier Francesco Agostino from Netherlands. So welcome and please uh, say us something about the case Good. you prepare for us. So we are here from New Delhi, Fortis Hospital, Vasant Kunj, and with me is my team. On my on my right is Dr. Ripin Gupta, my my trusted colleague, and on the right of her, him is uh, Miss Smita Smita Wilson, who is our cath lab nurse. She is a very well trained nurse and in fact uh, when we do procedures she is the only person who is uh, assisting. But today since it's a big day so we, we have involved more people and we have a very capable technicians team led by Mr. Shashi Bhushan Mishra and Uday Singh. So now I'll go to the case. Can I have Can I have the first slide if you have? Yes. This is a 48-year-old gentleman. Interestingly has no major risk factors. And he presented with a history of classical angina in uh, ending Feb this year and with had some minor ECG changes and uh, he was put on dual antiplatelet therapy and then referred to us for an angiogram. Dr. Ripin, can you show the angio? Oh, we'll show you the angiogram. Now, can you see it? Make it a little brighter, yes. Is it visible? Hello, can you hear us? Yeah, yes, we can hear you. Thank you. Okay, good. Can you see this uh, right oblique, uh, right anterior oblique view? Yeah, we see the right oblique view for the left coronary system and we see the chronic total occlusion or something like and this. I understand it is not yeah, ACS there's patient, a very, you know, almost angina. near, so near total occlusion of the large obtuse marginal. Yeah, and the tight lesion in the proximal LAD is correct? Yes. That's right. Yes, and this is the next view showing a mid LED lesion just after the septal and then mild disease extending uh, for about 8 to 10 20 millimeters next this again shows the LED lesion as well as the uh, complex circumflex lesion with near total occlusion although one can see one can see a fine channel This is the right coronary. The right coronary shows a, a lesion in the second part, which looks uh, 50 to 70 percent. So this is the angiographic picture. Basically, triple vessel disease, but the right coronary lesion, which looks intermediate left anterior descending lesion with I think most of us will say that it is significant 
and obviously the real culprit lesion for the patient getting symptoms is the circumflex lesion which is uh, very tight. ACT. ACT. So what we decided first, next, is to do FFR of the right coronary lesion and the FFR of this was 0.88. Uh, at maximum hyperemia and indicating that this is not a ischemia producing lesion. Next. No, no. Um, can I? Do, do you, do you, do you have yeah, evidence of yes. ischemia in the lateral territory or are you using a normal echo as a surrogate? A pish, pish, patient has an absolutely normal echo no wall motion abnormality, ejection fraction about 65 percent. So, Pedro, so after your, doing the FFR of the right, yes. Your strategy is to do FFR in the right coronary as the first attempt and if FFR will be That's right. positive, let's say. So you will have a patient, a young patient with a triple vessel disease. So you will go for PCI or for surgery? Uh, I think in this situation, I think uh, even if we have very rigorous criteria of uh, appropriateness, LED is a mid-segment lesion. Right, in in case it is a in case it is a significant lesion, is a very big vessel, easily doable with angioplasty, and then circumflex. With our experience, uh, we think that we are going to cross it in, uh, you know, most probably, unless there is, you know, some an adverse thing, I think we should be able to cross the circumflex also. So the syntax score also is going to be low moderate, it is not going to be more than 33. So from all criteria, I think angioplasty is a good solution for this, although, you know, CABG can always be done. He is not a diabetic, so from that angle also, yeah, it's true. Uh, I think angioplasty for his uh, age, a young person, uh, would anybody would prefer angioplasty, and especially when we are uh, we are in a group so of interventional cardiologists. I think uh, yes. Upendra, if the angioplasty is decided already. Should you start from the circumflex as the most difficult part of your procedure or not? Yes, that's a uh, good question. Actually, what we did, which we had not captured on the screen, we also did an FFR of the LED. And it was significant, it was coming as 0.72. So now we are in the process of so this is doing the, the PCI LAD of the circumflex. Right coronary artery. Yes. No, no. LAD. Uh, LAD. LAD. Yeah. 0.75. This is LAD. 0.75. RCA was 0.88. Okay. Yeah, well, was one issue that is the, the collateralization to the circumflex, and uh, I, I didn't properly see how the collateral is coming, but it's possible that the LED yeah, there is collateral to the circ. So you over, you can no, over no, actually, evaluate actually the FFR. So what would be nice is to open the circ and repeat the FFR in the LED and see yeah. whether it becomes Actually, negative. actually, the right coronary artery, if we see carefully, is giving collateral. If you see and this frame, the, the right, right yes. coronary artery is right coronary artery is giving the collaterals but the majority of the collaterals coming from the um, from the left in any case no no they're not no as you can you see go to the caudal this is view. a long run yeah, the, go the, to the yeah, coronary view. you see you have you have huge oh, actually from the diagonal yeah. probably you have a huge collateralization to the but I no, think no, no, uh, the from the LAD mm -hmm. no. 
we can do an FFR, no in harm in that. So, one can argue out whether to do LED first or the LCX first, but we thought that, you know, let us handle the most complex region first. And uh, we went ahead, took a fielder XT wire. This is how you see is moving slowly and it has gone finally into a tiny branch which is uh, adjacent to the large obtuse marginal. So at this stage we thought let us uh, make a better passage and we dilated it with a 1.5 millimeter, 1.25 millimeter mosaic balloon from from Merrill. And this is the dilatation. And now you can see the picture. And we have kept the wire there only and then gone ahead with a whisper, with a whisper wire into the main obtuse marginal. Pictures. I hope you can see that. We'll take a picture now. And okay. This is where we are now. Did you cross using a fine cross microcatheter, the second wire? No no. No, no, no. no, no. What we did is the fielder XT went into that small branch, which is adjacent to the obtuse marginal. We'll show you again. We just left it there and took a whisper wire. You can see it here. So you can see the main vessel and uh, this this is in a very tiny branch. We dilated it to make a passage better and then took this second wire alongside the fielder XT wire and this whisper XT has gone into the appropriate vessel and the other wire has been pulled out. So this is the picture and this is where we are now. So now we dilate it with bigger balloons. Yes, a two, a two, a two. Okay. Now we are going with a two millimeter balloon. 2.5 ready. Balloon. We are going serially like so that we do not produce a mix. Oh. balloon oh. and oh. then uh, take a long stand to cover the entire lesion. Yes, then we will see, uh, we will take a long stand, we will see whether we need a tapering stand or we need a, you know, usual stand. Uh, why, why did you choose a whisper yes, as opposed to say something with a better shaft support like a balanced heavyweight if you are using a long stand? Because we want a torqueability. I thought we were very comfortable with the torqueability of the whisper, and there are, you know, is a tortuous kind of a lesion. And, uh, but you know, I'm sure any other wire would also have gone. Once the passage was there, we could see it. Pulls. It's the balloon, as you know, is, you know, melon seeding. Take it longer. Uh, longer there as well. Yeah, Karo. Yes. How long is this balloon? 15? 12. This is 12 millimeters. 20. We're so going to take a longer balloon. I think we'll take a longer, but uh, just write it here. 20 is 2.5, 20. Uh, 20. Uh, 20. Uh, 20. Uh, 20. Uh, 2.5, 20. Uh, 20. We'll take a longer balloon because, you know, this balloon has a tendency of melon seeding. It either goes distally or proximally at the tight Nikuran. portion. And, and we don't want uh, injury to the adjacent portions of the vessel needing a much, much longer stent. Okay, let's take a picture. Nikuran. Hmm? Nikuran. Okay. Yeah, let's take a longer balloon. 
And I think this might be good for a tapering stent. 3.53. Yeah, uh, 60. We'll see. Take a long balloon. Ah, 20, you know? Any comments? Uh, hmm? Comments from the audience? Audience comment. Hello. Can we can we also participate in your discussion? Why do you need a, do you think that you need a, a, another balloon instead of going straight forward with a stand right now? Well, we have to because uh, we're taking a, another balloon because we have not been able to expand the balloon fully because uh, you know it's melon seeding. It's either going slipping distally or proximally. So that portion is not opened well. So uh, this is a the stent, stent would not be fully expanded. So let us make a proper bed. And in these days when the days of uh, BVS, we are our tuned to making a bed very well. Unfortunately, we can't use a BVS from Merrill today because uh, the study is over and we're waiting for the six month results. Push. Okay. Are you working with the six so French? So we taking a longer balloon, or is a seven French? This is a six, six French. Six French. Normal six. Okay. Six French is uh, yes. His radial artery was or, uh, rather small. Yeah, this is XB. XB. Okay. Uh, yeah, extra back. Yes. Yeah, so. so this is what length? Twenty. Twenty. Nine. So we we'll need at least uh, forty. Forty. Maybe 50. Well, I will just uh, take a picture, sir. Would have an idea. Now we we'll just take a picture yeah. to get an idea about the length of the stent. So yeah. we have to keep the distal part little. Uh, one this one of the interests to 20, 20, 20, 20, use the, uh, to predilect the lesion is, as you can see, the, the diameter of the distal part of the lesion is increasing a lot. So when you want to select the stent you need to have enough flow to the distal so part three color, and three color with number. this predilection you can mm -hmm. make a more appropriate evaluation of the uh, diameter of the artery and the diameter of the stent and the positioning also yes. of the stent. So predilection has some interest in some different stents. This is the same for myocardial number infarction. To expand. Okay. Let's take there Stand is a relatively a small uh, marginal branch coming out at the level of the occlusion. Would you consider protecting it or to not, not really? It's not, uh, it's not that no, big, no. but it's not also really. not that small. Yeah, but I think uh, we'll just leave just it like that. Your life a bit we'll leave it at its mercy. Yes, yes. Hmm. Uh -huh. That point, you know, the proximal point, the point where the vessel was totally occluded, just just proximal to the branch which we are discussing, we are not happy with its expansion. So we are using a, another balloon to dilate it. We use a 3.5 millimeter balloon three, to three, dilate it. Three, sir. Three. Three millimeter balloon to dilate that. And are you using a, a non-compliant or a semi-compliant? We we'll use a semi-compliant. Yes. No, this. Sir, comments on regular or morph? Hmm? Comments on regular. Now the point is, other point is whether we should use the conventional more conventional stent which is uniform in diameter throughout its length or is this a case where we can consider using a tapering stent uh, morph, the biomy morph. Because we have this availability of a variety of choices with the biomy stents. And at the end of it, after doing uh, the angioplasty and putting in a stent, we also... 
Yes, sir. Take it. Yes, sir. slowly. So this is the three millimeter balloon, and this has expanded quite well. Now we'll just get an idea about the length. So the proximal end is okay. And distal, I think we need meters, 20 40. and 20 more. 40. I think we need a 40 millimeter stent. 3.5, th 340 morph. So we'll take a 3.5 morph. That means proximally it is 3.5 and distally it will be 3. 40 millimeters or longer? 40. 40, 40. 30 will be cutting too fine. 40 we think will be absolutely okay. Because this was a 20 millimeter balloon. 20? 20. 23. 20? Okay, still better. I think it was a 30 balloon. OCT eh? yes. 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 No, this was 23. 323. 3 into 23. Yes. Meanwhile, keep your OCT caster ready so that after deploying, we'll do an OCT and see how well it is opposed proximally and distally. Nominal, get my nominal. So here comes the stent and let us see the trackability, trackability is nice. Pull a bit sir, yes sir. Pull a Did bit, you take the yes, by my morph, there's a question from the audience. Yes, yes this is by my morph. Pull, push a bit sir. Uh, I think we need to push, push it a little, little bit. Push little the little. wire a little bit first. Yes. Sir. And so it's it's a morph, no, 40, no okay. 3.5 at the proximal 3 .5. edge and 3.0 at the distal edge. Yes, it's correct. Yeah, this is by my morph, 3.5. That means 3.5 yes, proximally yes. and tapering to 3. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Yes, sir. Okay. I think the both the markers are well set and we're inflating it and biomimorph is being inflated. Nine is a nominal. Nine is a nominal. Okay. That should be enough. Put First OCT sir. Take OCT. Take OCT without OCT anything. Now let us, uh, we'll see the picture and then do an OCT. Would you not post dilate before OCT? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's three. what we're debating. Most probably it would need a 3.5 We'll take a non-compliant 3.5, maybe 9 or 10 millimeters. We should lumber the picture. No. Or we can take a little longer also. Inject. Very nice. Yeah, looks a good result. So proximally I think we'll do with 3.5 and then do a... 15. Oh. Then do an OCT. Yeah. So angiographic Balloon. results is perfect to print, but I understand you want to, to post dilate and then to do OCT. I think just we, to, no. yeah, that's right, we'll, di that's right. we'll di uh, post dilate the proximal region because uh, what I could see when the stent was expanding, that portion did not expand as well 
एज द यू नो मिड पोर्शन नहीं मैं करता हूँ वो रेडी करो उसे तो सो वी टेकिंग है थ्री पॉइंट फाइव मिलीमीटर बलून मीन वाइल द ओ सी टी कैस्टर इज बींग बींग कैप्ट रेडी so one thing which was quite impressive was the trackability of the stent being a 40 mm stent it tracked very well on a whisper wire in spite of all the curves and yeah so we are in the stent okay this is the portion which you know on the fluoroscopy also looks a little less expanded and now we going to high pressure 14, going 16. to 14 16, 16 pressure okay that's all a, a bit more so distal so low little bit just here also okay cold So, are we ready with the OCT catheter? Yes, very good. Non-compliant balloon. Is that correct? Yes, it was 3.5 non-compliant balloon, 15 millimeters length. We're taking a final picture before doing the OCT. Uh, looks great. Let's do the OCT now. इसमें बिल्कुल उसके बगैर ले रहे हैं ब्लड के बगैर नाउ गोइंग इन विद द ओ सी टी कैस्ट विच एज यू नो इज ए वेरी स्मॉल मोनोरेल कैस्ट about to come and we are here outside the stent okay can we see okay, OCT you? panel OCT okay. panel on the screen please yes now we going to going to inject yeah can you focus on that screen Yeah, but please uh, show us on the screen. OCT, bring the OCT on the screen. Yeah, yeah, we'll show you. Just give us a minute. Now you can see it. Okay. Badi se dis. Hmm. Nahi, nahi. Ab to usme hi karna hai. Kuch inject from here. Hmm. Contrast, pure contrast. Contrast. Pure contrast. Pure contrast, yeah, na. इसी में ही करना है ऐसे कर लो इसमें वो निकाल लो ये निकाल लो हां पर ये डाई निकाल लो ये ब्लड निकाल लो हाउ डू यू आई डू परफॉर्म योर सीटी विद मैनुअल इंजेक्शन और विद 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 ऑटोमेटिक इंजेक्टर यूजुअली नो नो मैनुअल 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 इंजेक्शन ओके सी द रिमूविंग द वायर 
Uh, no. No? It's a pity. Okay. Get much better pictures. Blood mm -hmm. Some blood has gone in. We'll do... We'll repeat it. Die, full die. Mm, full die, yes sir. Okay. Pull कर लेते हैं उसको light source को pull the catch a bit और सर हाँ यस यहाँ से यहाँ से die die और okay are you ready hmm Okay. We are not how able to how get how rid how of the complete blood, but at this... How much contrast are you uh, About... Uh, mm -hmm. About 15 cc. It's a long leash and, and it's a big caliber vessel. I'm just wondering whether yes. you need more contrast, a bit more power. Yeah, yeah. that mm. may be the reason, yes. You need an yeah. automatic injection. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Oh, they do. You, you probably need a 20 mil lure lock and a bit more power. Like. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Yeah, we're doing that. Okay. It's not a inject. It's not a good inject. It's not a good inject. Guarding for our Achita Dalis. Both Achita. I think that you proved your point. The stent is well opposed. Yes, sir. Are you still going to do the LED later on? Yes, yes, we're going to do LED immediately after this. I think this is better. I, I think this was probably your best run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, stand up position is nice. Stand is well opposed, and so it is the, the stand is quite well opposed. We would like to know from OCT, and there is no reason to repeat it. Uh, more time yes, because uh, yeah, of contrast. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the stent is very well opposed at from distal to proximal end. Okay. <coughs> Want to do one more? Hmm? You can take. Just one more attempt to see the proximal end here. Purge. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, this is... Uh, mm, well opposed. Well opposed, you can just stop it here. Move over there. <coughs> so, it looks very well opposed, so we're taking out the OCT catheter. Take a picture and go to the LED. Without wire, sir. Hmm? Yeah. Without wire. Ah. Will you um, repeat the FFR on the LED? Uh, no, we'll do the LED now and then if we think that it's necessary to repeat, because we already done the FFR on LED. So this looks quite good. We can do an FFR also, sir, on LED. Yeah, we can. Them. You want us to do FFR again on LED? It, it may have changed now that the collaterals are not being supplied to the system. Okay. Let's do an FFR. Yeah, we'll do it. Come. Let's do that. Because PTC, we can do a LED later on also. Look. Uh, Let's do the FFR. FFR wire. FFR wire. Padi hai na wire. Okay. You don't need calibration? Hmm? Do the calibration. Pressures, sir. Hmm? Pressures come are. Sorry. So, so which wire are you using for the FFR? Okay. The St. Jude wire or the volcano? No, the no, St. Jude wire. Saint Jude. And how do you give uh, adenosine? You give it uh, via peripheral infusion, central infusion, we or uh, bolus? <laughs> we, bolus? in this particular case, uh, hmm? we very often give it uh, infusion when there's a long lesion. But if it's a focal lesion, we've shown that, you know, intracoronary as well as the intravenous bolus okay. has the same correlationship. Okay? Excellent. Discussion kar liye, sir. Main tab tak ready kar liye. So, what do you uh, recommend? The intravenous or the intracoronary infusion or the bolus? Sorry? Hmm. Uh, no, I, pre I prefer no, I was just saying, infusion. what does the Definitely. Personally, infusion, I infusion. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. the, the other of the panel do, but uh, I, I always do infusion, but I do peripheral infusion. So, in, in the arm, we try to puncture yeah. a bit higher in and the, the arm. Uh, at the level of the of the elbow, and we we give the adenosine there. Also, because I, I always like to do the pullback to be sure that you get uh, yeah one in the guiding cut. The, the point, the quality control That's right. for the value. So we're advancing the FFR wire. Well, one alternative is to use EFR. You know, and we are. Using a yes. lot uh, now EFR because you have a, an automatic pullback uh, program which is very very interesting for long lesions. You can on, sir. Uh, are you really select are you the, the best place where you have to put the stand. Uh, EFR. Yes. Zero. Let's do the zero. Yes, sir. Who hmm? hmm. hmm. Okay, equalize. Okay.
okay so equalization done inject kahan par hai so this is cross the region now we'll look at the ffr see the basal oh okay can we switch to ffr screen now please yeah 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 sure, sure. can you switch to the ffr screen something in between of camera and the ffr okay thank you now it is removed can you see it now yeah yes yes now now we see so the basal is 0.89 yeah this is baseline this is under adenosine no 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 this is without adenosine ah without adenosine oh, with okay injecting hmm? I think we see that there is a significant lesion, so you can stop. So I think, uh, okay, what is it, 0.78? 0.68. Just to see. 0.68. It is 0.68. 0.68 and in the, in the we'll garden. do, yeah, yeah, we'll do a pullback. So that should be proximal to the lesion now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, clear. So it's clearly a lesion, so which needs to be handled. Is this a good thing, sir? Hmm? Is this a good thing? Is this a? Oh, this is a good thing. Just a test. So we use the FFR wire to do the procedure now. It has to be a little positioned. Any comments? So the collaterals have had not affected the flow. Two point five ka. Ni hai? But that was an important uh, point. I think we appreciate the point. Look. Yes. Okay. Oh, close. Hmm. One there. Hmm. Let's do. Pull it and keep it in the distal. How can they get? Let's go at all. Body to piece, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Hmm. Chal. Two point five. Two point five balloon. Picture left. Yes. Actually, mm -hmm. pressure display karo. Actually, the lesion looks quite significant angiographically also now. Yeah. Love. So this also is going to require a relatively long stent. Maybe the proximal end just proximal to the septal. And the distal end going beyond the cupola of the diaphragm. Are you considering direct stenting? 
Or we prefer to no, no, we're pre-dilating it. Yes, yes. Three cup balloon, there, na. Lamba. Okay. आगे से चलते हैं सर। This is length is twelve, sir. Twelve. Twelve. Two point five. Twelve. So this is two point five twelve. Go, go, we go up, sir. Down, down. Go from ah yes, sir. Beyond this, sir. We have to. Okay. Right. Are you considering a, a morph stand in this region too, or um, you think about a non-tapered stand? Pull, sir. Hmm. Yes. Okay. I think we'll take a morph stand here also. Three sixty. Yeah, three sixty should be okay because we have a lot Long of space. Yeah. yeah. Picture let's say. Yeah, we have big space. Yeah, so we are going to take a 360. 360. By regular my morph. Stand, I understand. Any? Yes, Upendra. Just a regular stand yes. or a morph? Or, or a tapered stand? Morph, morph. Morph, morph tapered. Tapered, morph. Stand, the call. Stand, morph, morph. It's a pretty long lesion. 360. 360 here though. Yeah. Ha, ha. Three point five. 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 Three so we take a 3.560 and see how does it track on the FFR wire. A test for metal. <laughs> just post austere. Okay. Mm. We'll just keep it post austere. Because there was some disease there also. So how long is your stand? It's a 60 millimeter, 6-0. Six 3.5 zero. Six zero. to 3? That's right. We have to dilate it. We have to dilate it a little bit. Show the guiding. Show the guiding. Show the guiding. We will have to pre-dilate it. Are you working on the FFR wire, eh? Is it correct? Yes, that's right. Yes. So the wire is not the... Maybe we take a... Yeah, maybe we take a... Maybe we take a, you know... Little support wire. Keeping this there only. The other option is a guideline or guide to All star. All star. Yeah, but I think we'll take a wire. All star. Guideline is a... Yes, we take... That's right. So we're taking a... Keep the guideline as a last test. First we... That's right. So we're going to use a... Better support wire. We're going to use a all star from Abbott. Hello, Gordon. Hmm. 
because FFR wire actually is not so good and so supporting. You know, it has a lumen inside. Let's go to other view. Good. Huh? Three, Wait, which one is this one? Hard one. This one is all star. All star from Abbott. All star. Take out the other wire. You yes. had some uh, hmm? balloon trauma at the site of the pre tilt. Picture is there is a good section over there. We want to flap in the other one. Uh, dissection mm -hmm. gently on up. Uh, I, I think uh, you have the dissection in the proximal vessel. Give him uh, a catheter here, never? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> take one, sir. School, no. Oh, can I go? Is school, no? We'll take a... Mere ko wo de do. Mishra ji? Ha. Wo de do ek... Catheter, catheter, prograde. Hmm? Prograde, the wall. Fine, open it. Oh, no, crosshair, crosshair. Crosshair. Ah. Yeah. Oh, we'll take a micro catheter. I think we can take a micro catheter on the. No, I don't think it's a knuckle. I'm not sure. The section will be big. Yeah, looks gone. Let's check. Let's go. Let's check and see, sir. Let's check and see. I think we have gone. It was a digest. Hmm. Heparin de door, thoda. Yeah. Yeah, we did. I will pull out the other wire. Hmm. So, it's missing. Yeah, no? Ah, yes, sir. Yes. We pulled out the FFR wire. You should probably switch with a, a fine cross or a microcraft, I think. No, no, we already crossed. Uh, you, you, your second wire was probably in a dissection plane. No, but it now, is let us see. now it's crossed. We'll show you. So it's crossed. Now we'll dilate it. Take, York, a, take, York, a, York. take a good balloon. Three yeah, millimeter yeah. balloon. Three ka do You consider a compliant balloon, 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 balloon to pre-dilate now or would you go for a compliant? Uh, we can go with a non-compliant. Non yeah. Let it park here, sir. Let it pass. It will cause resection. Chale. Let it be in the main, sir. It will be... No, take care. It will be in the main, sir. It will be in the main, sir. Now. Can we see another view, perhaps? Just to... Perhaps an LAO cranial view? Is yes, that? we will show you. Okay. Make a LAO cranial. Hello, cranial, please. Mm. Okay. Picture. Picture. Yes. We oh, are the true human. Yeah. Go back to the. Go back to the previous view.
Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, that is the place. Okay. Yes, this was a non compliant balloon. And you went how, how so now we we'll take a picture. In terms of pressure, you we went up to, to 12. Oh, 12. 12, 12, 12, 14. 12, 14. 12, 14. Okay. So now we'll take a picture and try the same strength again. Yeah, so no strength. I think it should go now. It's, it's looking happier now. Otherwise, we'll. <laughs> yes, much happier. We're also looking happier. <laughs> so now goes the stent. And let's see whether. This guide wire allows it to go, otherwise then we have the choice of a guide liner. Guide liner there. So we need a guide liner. What's going? Yes sir. Which curve of the uh, ready, extra ready, backup ready. do you have? Three and a half? Three and a half. Three and a half. No, I think uh, we need a guideline. Yeah. Guideline is Guideline is there. Guideline is there. Guideline is there. Guideline is so the second option is to use so the body So we take wire. a guide liner. Sometimes it's helpful. Yes, but I thought, uh, you know. Let me hold the wire. Yeah, okay. Guide yes. liner should succeed. Close. Yeah, so using a guide liner. It's much more better support. Let's go to the blues cup. Can I take it away? Let's try this. Let me, let me do it. Okay. Should be coming now. Okay. Should be uh, all uh, there. Uh, I think that should be enough. So that's the now trick of the guideliner. So now it is done. So 
guideliner showed us the way full sir let's go to elio cordel elio cordel elio cordel You can go to Ostium, sir. Because hmm? you can go up to the Ostium because. What uh, a big pull, uh, then. Ah, uh, pull, correct. Sir, so we may be more. It's a very good angle, so we come up to the Ost. Just to cover the. Uh, yeah, the this is okay. Yeah, yeah, so this should be all right. A little bit, sir. Little Thoda bit. Thoda chhipi sir. Thoda pull karna, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think this should be fine. That should be fine. Go ahead. Okay, how much? Nine nominal. Nine is the nominal, so ten. Ten. Okay. Stands when you take the balloon out, it sucks the guide in a lot more. You see, your guide got sucked. Ah, yeah, that's right. Always. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the cranial. Looks nice. Looks nice. You like to do to an OCT. Dilate with NC? You want yeah, to do a post dilate with NC? 3.5. We will, first, we'll do, a, we, we'll do a post dilatation. 3.5. With 3.5 and then an OCT. And do 3.5 though. Yeah, tell him. We're running this as well. Chal. Love balloon. New York, then. Oxford ni. Balloon. NC. NC ko dabbe mishra ji. Udar dabbe pade hai NC ke. Haan, 3.5 me dhao kya hai. Koi isa dhado hai, maha se dhado. Udar bhi pade huye thai na, ek saan hai. Get from the other stock. हाँ इसमें है ना ये एनसी है ना तीन में फाइट हाँ दे दो दे दो दे दो ये के भी एनसी देखो क्या है क्या देखो डॉक्टर कोल हाँ दो ना तेरा दो यस द प्रॉब्लम विथ दिस वेरी लॉन्ग स्टेंस दैट वी कैन नॉट नो व्हेन वी विल गो टू वी विल गोइंग टू स्टॉप द डबल एंटीप्लेटेड थेरेपी सो व्हाट विल बी योर स्ट्रेटजी � <laughs> I think I think uh, one year for definite. Yeah. And in case the DAP score is low, that means the risk of bleeding is not high. Then we'll continue for maybe uh, two three years, or maybe just uh, you know one more potent agent like instead of aspirin, we use uh, ticagrelor after one year. Just just one. Just uh, just you think I will not. After after one year. Yeah, for one year, definitely two. Yeah, and following one year, depending less, upon uh, the major adverse uh, cardiovascular events, at the cost of some more bleedings. August, <coughs> August. This what yes. was expected. That's right. This patient is already because of his recent ACS and other things on uh, aspirin and ticagrelor.
Okay. Come to LU Cordel. So, so what is the pressure you use? 16, 18 or what? 14. 14, 15. 14. 14, 15. 14, 14, 15. 14, 15. Now we're so coming to the Austrian. Expand to his non uh, compliant balloon up to 20, even more. Yeah. Sometimes. I'm going to high pressure now. Now, with here we went up to 18. Yeah, you see also sound classification, exactly where I put in the balloon there. There is sound classification yes. just outside the, the that. stand. That's probably That's the reason why right. the, the, the stand didn't pass. Yeah. Because this hostile classification. That's right. I think that was the reason, yes. Pull, pull, sir. Austin, double mac. Do a double mac. Double mac, stand boost. Yeah, we're inside. Okay. Maybe we can do a stand boost now. Okay. Floro, sir. Floro, yeah. Let's leave it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are in the edge. Ah, it um, looks well just, just at the edge. We are just at the edge. Can you, can you show us the stand boost? Uh, can you show them the stand boost? Because that doesn't come in our screen. Yes, yes. Uh, we'll show. Huh? Done, sir. The cow, stand boost the cow, Uncle. So, want to finish with. Can you bring uh, it to the main screen? OCT run, yes, with, with this, within this artery. Yes. Get the OCT catheter. How much out. contrast has this patient had? Mm, 250. Around 240. 240, 250. His, his creatine clearance is normal. He is not a diabetic. He is well hydrated. Should tolerate it. Okay, take a picture. Guarding in front. I've been here this time. What can I do? Huh? Can you see the stent boost now? So, Upendra, we are uh, waiting for this OCT because we are over time. Yes, yes, yes. So, please show no us problem. this just as soon as OCT possible. And we OCT character is going in. Uh, conference room for uh, two last uh, presentation of the session. Yeah, the OCT character is going in. Okay, there. Calibration of the career? Do so, you can do it. Are you? Are you? So, that is the OCT character beyond the stent. Blood, blood, full of blood. I will call you, sir. I will call you, sir. पुल एटल बिट वो तो कर लूँगा लेकिन अब ब्लड निकालना वो मैं निकाल दूँगा पहले मैं पुश करके निकालना पड़ेगा चलिए इसको भी खोलिएगा सर इधर से ही ब्लड निकल जाएगा बस बंद कर लीजिए सर ओके उसको कर लिए पर्च पर्च Okay. Okay. Who will tell you? Ready? Sir, I'm guiding to the under. Okay. Okay? Okay. No, no. No, no. It's outside. Let's go. Let's go. 
Just will take a minute. The comment just from uh, clearing is the black. That maybe you are too proximal because we see a stand in this. So maybe yes, yes. Go no, we thought all the dye should go in. Ready? Yes, just a minute. Pull the rounds for me. Yes, sir. That should be just okay. ठीक है. गाइडिंग ठीक है गाइडिंग बाहर है अंदर ही करना पड़ेगा हाँ गाइडिंग अंदर रखिए सर हाँ थोड़ा आंसर करिए हाँ यस सर अब ठीक लग रहा है चलो सर चेस दो यस सर यस ओके नहीं नहीं थोड़ा फिर बाहर आ जाते हैं शॉर्ट लेफ्ट में पुल कर लीजिए ना सर पुल गाइड कैसे को पुल कर लीजिए इसको ना इसको सर Ready? Hmm. So we'll see the picture now. Well opposed. Yeah, well opposed. I don't know whether you can see it. Completely oh. opposed. Yeah, that's out in left main. No, it's from uh, Now we're in the left main. Now we're in left main. Yeah. Uh, one or two starts in the left main. Wow. Okay. You Have you seen it? Review the no. proximal part because there are some. Uh, we are not sure. If okay, just just go to the proximal part. We can see that one or two struts are in the left main, but very well opposed. Yeah, but yeah, it is. But it is uh, at the entrance to the left main, so you cannot do anything with this. Okay. So I think that result is excellent. So congratulations, uh, Upendra and your team for this excellent case. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being with us. And, uh, very and have a very nice stay in Wapi. Much, uh, to show, to see have OCD, a good day to see uh, FFR. So, so thank you very much and very good, uh, uh, very good results with this uh, long stance. Thank you so much. Just the last picture. There's okay. the last picture. Elio Cordell. Elio Cordell. Let's go to Elio Cordell for the... Fantastic results. Double Magadaro. Just center, please. Yes. Now let us see both the vessels. Okay. Looks so great. Thank you new again. New arteries. Okay. Uh, okay. Switch now to the lectures. So maybe have some more lights because I can not read anything.